about how um, time travel is real and all you need to do is shop in the firearm space and then shop for any other consumer good and you can time travel 20 years. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> like, Bro, do, you, do, 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 you, do you remember when, when you could buy um, uh, DVDs and like when Amazon was just like books? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. You remember that website? Yeah, Amazon, how, how Amazon many, was books. How many how many how many am, ammo websites look exactly like 1998 Amazon? It's it's actually horrifying. It's actually horrifying. I was just talking to a, a buddy who who runs an online space and I was like, "Hey, we should do this, this and this." And it was just kind of like futuristic stuff that really isn't futuristic. It's on a couple different websites, but Right. Reality is some of the stuff's expensive. What is the ROI? And aren't a lot of the guys buying stuff? Well, first of all, there's a lot of guys who don't think you can buy ammo online. Um, but a lot of the stuff that you can buy, it's just like, or a lot of the guys buying it, they don't necessarily have a flair for the creative or an appreciation for it. At least in my mind, maybe the, maybe there's a new generation of people out there who are appreciating some of the some of the extra work that goes into building a website. I mean. We'll talk about your website for a second. You go on there. It's clean, clean lines, great UI, great design. And I'm not saying that just to, you know, gas you up, but it is it's clean. Um, especially kind of like logo placement. I was I was looking for a PNG logo. I was just gonna pull it from the site and I was like, where is the where's the original logo? Which, you know, that's a question for another day. But I was like, okay, this one says Enigma. It's like really nice, clean, bold design. I'm just like, ah. Okay. And then I went to the, I think it was the about us and you had already updated it to have the, um, the floodlight two, just sitting real pretty when the, 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 the product photography alone, super clean. Yeah. Super That's clean. Sarah. Of course. Just unbelievable photography. Tell her to call me. Like we need to have conversations yeah. about these things just cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a geek and a nerd about these things. So oh, for sure. No, but I mean, real, re realistically, you look at websites who, you know, they care, frankly, about the presentation, about letting people know, like, this is something you get excited for. Like, you go to Apple's website, boom, like, things start folding out on you. You go here. Oh, it's, it's like, oh. That website makes me want to buy things I already have. <laughs> You're not lying, though. Like, it's like, I like I've, 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 I'm like, I don't need a second iPhone. Why am I even looking at this page? Right. And you're like, oh, but, the but there's something like, <laughs> but like the, the, yeah, there's it just pulls you in. Yeah. I mean, a, a, a lot of, a lot of firearms related websites are essentially made for people who are already going to buy the thing anyways. Right. And it's not like, it's not, it checks the boxes of here's a picture of the thing. Here's the price of the thing. Here's the, features of the thing and here's some verbiage from the press release about the thing yeah do you want to buy it or not right and and it doesn't really that's that's that, that we're, we're not going to do this conversation for three hours we have to bail sure. on this part about like yes. um but uh i i think a lot of I'll, I'll wrap it up by saying i think one of the ways that this becomes normalized like every other consumer good is that if we catch it up, it's like, we don't need, none of us need to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. All these other villages have wheels in them. We just need to go get the wheels that they already have and bring them into the gun village and go, Hey, yeah. you guys like wheels. And it's like, w w look at all the things that we shop for outside of the gun space that have incredible, user experiences, amazing websites that teach you everything about the thing. They, mm -hmm. you know, like, man, go, go to like, go to the Airstream website, you know, like, uh, go to, I mean, go to a consumer electronics website. I mean, mm -hmm. there are gr like, not just the products, but the shopping experience is like, modern, contemporary, exciting, makes you want to buy the thing, explains it to you, teaches it to you. Like one of the things that we struggled with with our website for so long was making sure that like we've got weird, complicated products. How do we present them to the person in such a way that we're not 
giving them a wall of text about the thing, but their questions about it are getting answered wow. as they learn to have the question. Does it unfold? And that's, that's tough. Yeah. Like, right. Does it tell them the story about the product? Does it answer their questions in a predictable way? You know, like what information do we put before the product comparison or after the product comparison? Is the product comparison chart going to make sense here? Are, this, are the features going to make sense here? Or are they going to make sense earlier in the page? Yeah. What do they, what prerequisites do they need to have in order to encounter this information and understand it? And like, we used to just get like, I mean, up until we changed the website in at the beginning of March, we had a website that had a ton of information on it and we would get questions constantly that were answered on our website because we weren't happen. delivering the information. Yeah. Right. I mean, like I understand, like you can, it's, it's, it's tough, but especially when you're dealing with products that people don't expect, mm -hmm. um, it's hard to anticipate what kind of questions they're going to have and, and at what point those questions are going to arise. But like, we could talk about how Amazon does it and how much money people spend on that website, really not knowing that much about product A or B because they have their frequently asked questions. They have user reviews listed that'll tell you everything you need to know, much less the breakdowns and even some, some influencer videos that they link directly to it enough, you know, pictures and videos on it. It's like, you don't obviously with a dedicated product brand website, it's a little different than a marketplace, but yeah, I mean, we could keep going, but I'll, I'll say this and then we'll, we'll kind of, we'll hard stop the, I've noticed being in the influencer space, there's a lot of guys who are amazing digital creators and can actually be a huge asset to brands. And they continue mm -hmm. to use guys who either don't really know what they're doing or don't understand what, what guys who enjoy pretty things on the internet really want, you know? So right. I, I do think that there is a lot of room to grow, but also up to some of these marketing managers who have the marketing dollars to spend on you know, hiring the best talent, getting contractors in there who actually care, and then going from there to really just go in and create pretty things and connect yeah. with people on an emotional level. Because that's what moves products is is the emotion, the pain of having the problem and the, the satisfaction of fixing it with just a quick Absolutely. You know, few purchases. You know, one, two, three, we're done. Yeah, and like the thing is... Um... When it comes to, to customer decision making, the opposite of certainty isn't uncertainty. It's anxiety. Mm. Right. And everything that we do in this space, in the self-defense space, is geared towards alleviating anxiety. You shouldn't yeah. be anxious about your purchase. Right. You should be confident in your purchase because you can't have anxiety about, about a purchase of a thing that is when the purchase itself is occurring to help you reduce anxiety about the world at large. Right. And I, I think right. that's part of why Surefire can sell their stuff for a hundred dollars more than the competition is because yeah. when you, when you buy a Surefire light, there is no anxiety. You know, it's going to work. It's going to work well. Right. Cops and military use this all the time. They love it. You should love it too. You're not, you're not buying circuitry in a lens. You're buying confidence. Oof. Right. Like Stop it. When, 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 when people, when people ask like, why does your product, cost so much it's just nylon and plastic it's like well ask our happy customers how they feel when they use it and that will tell you what they're actually buying right John. like that's that's products i love that 